frankly, we did win this election. We believe we're on track to win this election. President-elect Joe Biden. After weeks of delay, the General Services Administration says the official presidential transition process can begin. The agency's head, Trump appointee Emily Murphy, made that announcement in a letter Monday night. Government funds and more classified briefings will now be available to the Biden team. Murphy had been saying she was not able to ascertain a winner due to the Trump campaign's ongoing litigation. Meanwhile, Michigan announced Monday that it will certify the results of the presidential election. It's another blow to the Trump campaign's challenges to the results. Well, Ben, it's interesting. The president tweeted about this Monday evening, saying that he recommended that the GSA and his team begin the initial steps of the transition process. But he also said that his campaign's legal fight is continuing. President-elect Joe Biden is beginning to fill out his cabinet. The president-elect announced six key picks for his national security and foreign policy teams Monday, including the secretaries of state and homeland security. All six people you see here worked under the Obama administration. There's been some damage done that is going to take some time to uh, um, to. to uh, dig ourselves out of. For Secretary of State, Mr. Biden chose longtime aide Tony Blinken. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome uh, to the State Department. Former Secretary of State John Kerry will be climate czar. Other picks include former Fed Chair and native New Yorker Janet Yellen for Treasury Secretary, Avril Haines to lead the intelligence community, Linda Thomas-Greenfield as U.N. Ambassador, and Alejandro Mayorkas would become the first Latino Homeland Security Chief. Do you expect Republicans to put up any significant robots blocks are you kidding me? <laughs> the administrator of General Services, Emily Murphy, is finally officially signing off on a transition. In a letter to Joe Biden, she says she moved now because of legal developments and state certifications. Frankly, we did win this election. We believe we're on track to win this election.